Every time I do a film, my reason is not just a great script, but also good storytellers. I asked the Daniels, where did this craziness come from? Dan Kwan watched a double feature of Fight Club and The Matrix and got inspired pitched me a whole multiverse concept. And later, this family drama exploded across the multiverse. And like, oh, OK, I want to make that. That sounds fun. It's wonderful to come on the set and don't know exactly what's going on. We've had a little improvisation here and there, which has been super fun. <laughs> the Daniels have an uncanny ability to make very beautiful, dumb, sweet things that also have so much heart. It's been wonderful. I'm having a blast. Awesome. Great, let's cut. Yeah. For a long time, I wanted to just be called Hot Dog Hands. We also called it Space Bubbles, was our working title, but we never right, wanted to call right. it that. Yeah. There's something about the phrase everything, everywhere, all at once that feels like it captures whatever feeling everyone is feeling right now. Whenever we tell people the title, they go, oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Dan Kwan is Chinese and was like, I really want to write a movie that kind of stars someone that's like my mom. We asked ourselves, who would our protagonist be? And we had the idea that it would be like dropping our parents into one of our weird movies and watching them like struggle <laughs> to make sense of it. And so the whole project was kind of this empathy journey about generational divides. It was so fun to write a character inspired by our parents, you know, and then write a villain inspired by us. <laughs> <laughs> I received a script called Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. I was so intrigued. It was exciting, it was dynamic. They presented me with a character, and I believed that doing this film would take all the experiences I've had as a filmmaker. And so I said yes. With the hair and makeup, we sculpted this character, Evelyn Wang. The inspiration was from all these women that you see who have come to America and have been living here, hoping for a good life, a successful life. So we said, OK, she can't be polished. She has to be real. Let's go rescue your silly raccoon. The Daniels were so brilliant because they pull the rug from un under you. And we can go to these universes where you go, that's crazy, that's outrageous, it's totally out there, it's not possible. But the intensity of the emotions, the sincerity of the love or confusion or heartbreak is so tangible and so real that you believe it. Joy is Evelyn's daughter, and they have a pretty strained relationship. It's a mother and daughter who just, for whatever reason, keep missing each other. It was fun to write the pent-up version of someone our age who's weird, and then write the unhinged, I don't give a shit version of someone our age. We tried to create a character that would freak out Evelyn the most. Jobu is everything, everywhere, all at once. Jobu is she, he, they, it, <laughs> bagel, not bagel, and is one of the most fun characters that I've ever gotten to play because it truly can be anything. She has seen every single iteration of her life and realizes that they all cancel each other out. She has to go through life knowing that nothing matters. And I think that realization, the way we pass on our trauma to the next generation is this invisible force that we're never conscious of. So James Hong plays the grandfather character in the movie Gong Gong. Couldn't have cast a more perfect grandfather. He was hilarious and fun and uh, mean to us uh, and grumpy. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? The title is very long. Everything, everywhere, all at once. They will never get that on the marquee. It's too long. It's a crazy, wacky, out of nowhere film. Papa, I'm Alpha Gogo. The gift that that character gave the story was to pull Michelle back to Hong Kong while her daughter pulls her to modern day America. This is where I am from. The Alpha Verse. The amazing Ki Kwan, who you probably will recognize from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and The Goonies, is finally back in a leading role. He just is so brilliant. We make a really happy family. It's very courageous 
to stop for 20 years and then one day decide, guess what, I'm coming back. Back in the 80s, opportunities for Asian actors were not a lot. So I decided to uh, step away from acting. And it was not until Crazy Rich Asians came out in 2018. I told myself, I said, Key, if you ever wanted to get back into acting, and now would be the time. And a week later, we got a call to audition for this, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Hello. I've done things in this movie that I have never and will never again do. I mean, it has been a bucket list check. You know, it's like, literally, it's like front and back, check, check. Make love with Michelle Yeoh with hot dog appendages, check. Fly through the air like Crouching Tiger, check. Jamie is so brilliant. She's one of the most generous, loving person. She's a legend. It's a movie about empathy, and in a lot of ways, Deirdre is one of the biggest obstacles for Evelyn to empathize with. And we wanted to stake that flag early and be like, by the end of this movie, you're going to love her, but it's going to be hard. <laughs> and Jamie was fearless about it. There was something really fun about Jamie Lee Curtis and Michelle Yeoh showing up to set looking intimidating and gorgeous, and then we turned them into their characters and just got weird. It did, took a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> it was important to us that our actors do as much of the fighting as possible, and we also wanted to have fights that were precise and funny, there's something so playful and, and dancerly about the Hong Kong movies that we both love. And so we found these YouTubers, the Marshall Club, and we, we brought them on to choreograph the film. We have our own group called Marshall Club based out of Orange County. For this type of movie with the wackiness, the realism of modern day action wouldn't fit too well. With Hong Kong action, you can go as wild as you want and it will fit the wacky tone of the movie and it'll push the story forward. They were incredible and I had the most amazing time fighting with them. I have one fight sequence in this movie and it's the fanny pack. It is so ridiculous and silly and stupid, but also very epic. Wielding around a fanny pack isn't easy. We had our stunt coordinator, Tim Ulick, who we've worked with for years, run the whole stunt team, and he did a beautiful job of collaborating with these guys. Three, two, one, action. Great. Cool. Awesome, guys. Thank you, everyone. That's a wrap. Uh, I must say, it's one of the most fun films I've ever been in, not only with the actor and actresses, but with the crew. Because of the uh, leadership of the two Daniels, they have created a situation where everybody should be more friendly and more uh, creative. They just make it fun. They say the word dope a lot, which is pleasant. That's I'm, cool. the, I'm the director. I just, I just bossed you guys so, around. So remember, that's my job. Everyone's like in for the passion. We're all working really hard, and everyone's treated fairly, and everyone's like, we're really grateful to the crew, and it really does feel like a summer camp. While we were shooting the movie, the Daniels kept saying, guys, don't forget, we're shooting a family drama. Well, if it is, it's going to be the funniest family drama you will ever see. You know, it's just, it's incredible. Holy shit, he has a gun! Everyone stay calm! I think it's time for a family discussion! Evelyn went looking in all the universes and then figured out at the end of the journey, you can't give up. Because when you give up, it's already gone. And going through all the universes, she found out where she really should be is back at home with her family and come to a realization the grass is not always greener on the other side and live for what we have. Love goes a long way. And if we can be a little more considerate and sensitive and loving and caring and accepting to each other, this world would be a beautiful, beautiful place. <laughs>